Okay, you made it. This is the last video for chapter one, section three. It is the distance formula, and the distance formula might look really intimidating, but guess what? It's not. It's one of those things that the more you see it, the more you practice it, the uh, less formidable it becomes. So what I need you to do is turn to page 23 in your textbook. You're going to copy down the core concept from the top of the page. Uh, it has the uh, formula for the distance formula. I have a copy down as well. And then we're actually going to go right to uh, some of the exercises in uh, the, uh, well, the exercise page on uh, in the book. All right, so let's switch my camera around. And there we go. So you might have already paused and copied down the core concept on page 23. Here it is. It actually is from the Pythagorean theorem. That's something we're going to get to later on in the year. But I'm going to go ahead and turn to page 25 and do number 23 with you. And then you will answer number 24 on, well, right after this with the Ed Puzzle. All right. So page 25, number 23, the directions say find the distance between the two points. Oh, and take a look in the directions of the book. It does say to go see example four. Remember, you can always go to the student dynamic ebook and have another way or another explanation of the distance formula. Remember, student dynamic ebook, you can go ahead and play the video. All right. We have a point A at 13, comma 2. We have a point B at 7, comma 10. Now, some of you are already okay with this, some of you are not, and I would appreciate it that no matter who you are, you do the following. We should label our points, all right? right? We have x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1. Well, here is our first x, that's all that that means. Here's our first y that they give us. Here's our second x, and here is our second y. Now that's what x1, y1, and x2, y2 mean. Uh, keep in mind, order doesn't really matter, but you need to make sure that you keep the 13 and the 2 together, right? That's the first x, the first y, and the 7 and the 10 together, that would be the second x and the second y. They could give us the points in different order, but 7 and 10 would always be paired together. 13 and 2 will always be paired together. Let me get my mouse out of the way. All right, so what is the distance formula? The distance between AB is going to be the square root of, now remember with the midpoint formula, it was an addition sign. Uh, it was always, I wanted you to say the average of the x's divided by 2, the average of the y's divided by 2. Well, here I want you to say, all right, the distance is the square root of, all right, take a big pause, and then it is the difference of the x's squared plus the difference of the y's squared, all right? You see how I said that and I wrote it? The difference of the x's, x2 minus x1 squared plus the difference of the y's, 10 minus 2, y2 minus y1 squared. So instead of saying the formula the way it's written, I would like you to think of it as the difference of the x's squared plus the difference of the y's squared. Uh, one other thing for those of us that are like visuals and patterns, the minuses are inside the parentheses, the plus joins the parentheses together, right? It's in between. All right, what is 7 minus 13? Well, isn't that uh, just negative 6 squared? plus what's 10 minus two, isn't that eight squared? We're gonna take the square root of that. All right, well, uh, negative six, all of it's squared, so that becomes a positive, and eight squared is 64, 30 plus 60 is 90, six plus four is 10. That's the square root of 100, which gets us to 10. Now, I'm okay if you skipped a couple of these things and did them in your head, but do them in your head and do them correctly. Uh, if you didn't skip along, notice that I have my notes and my work done in some sort of upside down pyramid that gets me to my answer. What's the distance between point A and point B? The distance is 10. All right. So rewind, take a look at it again if you need to. When you're ready, go ahead and uh, do page 25, number 24, answer it in the end puzzle. And don't forget that you need to go to the very end of the video before um, it actually submits your grade, okay? So make sure you get to the end of the video, even if it's just dead time. 